Hello everyone, welcome to our TLE 7 class, quarter 2, week 5. For our learning competency, determine the breeds of farm animals. And this week we are going to, 1. Identify the distinct physical characteristics of the poultry animals such as cattle, swine, goat, and rabbit. 2. Identify the breeds of cattle, swine, goat, and rabbit. Before we begin our lesson, I would greatly appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel. It's tough not being monetized, and your support would mean a lot to me. By liking and subscribing, you'll help me create even more educational content. If you have any suggestions for improvement, please feel free to comment below. Thank you. Now let's talk about breeds. Breeds are specific group of domestic animals having similar appearance and characteristics that differentiate from the other animals of the same species. To improve the livestock or farm animals, several systems of breeding are being done. This includes inbreeding, line breeding, outbreeding, outcrossing, grading up, crossbreeding, and species hybridization. The different breeds of domesticated farm animals known as livestock are raised in order to provide employment and produce different forms of products for human consumption such as meat, eggs, milk, fur, leather, and wool. In this lesson, livestock to be covered are, cattle, swine, goat, and rabbit. Here are the different cattle breeds. 1. Frisian. Frisian is the world's highest production of dairy animals. The mature body weight of male is 580 kg while females are 360 kg. There are black and white distinct patches on their skin. Though it has high milk production, it has a low fat content of 3.4%. Next, we have Ayrshire. Ayrshire is distinct from its red or brown color with varying amounts of white. It has large horns with an upward curve. The matured body weight of the male breed is 900 kg while 600 kg for female. It is also good for the production of milk. It has moderate fat content of 4% though it contains high protein. Next, we have Jersey. Jersey is a small breed of dairy cattle. Its body weight ranges from 400 to 500 kg. Its body color is fawn or light brown. It is estimated that the fat content of its body is 4.8%. Next, we have Hereford. Hereford is first introduced in the United States. It is noted for its luxuriant grasses. It is bred for beef and draft purposes. The characteristic color is red with a white face and white markings. Next, we have Devon. Devon is originated in England. It has a red color. In good working condition, the mature bull weighs 770 to 1000 kg. Next, we have Black Angus. Black Angus is developed from cattle native to Scotland. It is a naturally pulled horn. Its body color is solid black or red. Some are white color. This is the most common beef breed of cattle. Next, we have Simmental. Simmental is originally found in Switzerland. It is a red and white and horned breed. It is extensively used for crossbreeding. And for the swine breed. First, we have American Yorkshire. American Yorkshire is an American breed of large domestic pig. It is derived from the pigs of Yorkshire breed from the United Kingdom or Canada. This is a bacon breed type. It is the most widely distributed breed of pigs in the world. Next, we have Berkshire. Berkshire is originated in the United Kingdom. It has a short head, curved face, and erected ears. It can have as many as nine litters. Its meat is pork. Next, we have Large White. Large White is originated in the United Kingdom. It has erect ears. It can produce a good meat intended for bacon. It is considered as a good mother and good milker that can have litter as much as 11. Next, we have Chester White. Chester White is originated in Chester Country, Pennsylvania. It is white swine with droopy, medium-sized ears. It is known for its good mothering ability, durability, and soundness. Next, we have Durek Jersey. Durek Jersey is originated in the United States of America. It is a good meat type because it has good muscle quality, low back fat. However, it has a poor mothering ability though it can have litters ranging from 9 to 10. Next, we have Hampshire. Hampshire is known for its black color with a white belt that covers across the front legs around its body. It has erect ears, a heavily muscled, lean meat breed. 
Next, we have Poland China. Poland China is an excellent feeder and gains readily under good conditions of care and management. It is known for having a very substantial bone and for being sound in its feet and legs. Next, we have Landrasa. Landrasa is originated in Denmark. It has a droopy ear. Its meat can be a good source of bacon and less black fat. It is considered to have the characteristics of a good mother because it can have litter as much as 11. Next, we have Middle White. Middle White is native to the United Kingdom. It has a short nose suited for grazing. Its meat has an outstanding eating quality with a good taste and flavor. Next, we have Large Black. Large Black is a large swine breed which originated in Britain. It is entirely black in color. It can be considered as a grazing breed because of its foraging ability. It can be useful for extensive farming. Next, we have Wild Boar. Wild Boar is very small in size but a ferocious and devastating breed. It has high genetic potential. The fat content is less compared to other breeds. And for the goat breed. First, we have Angora. Angora is a Turkish breed of domesticated goat. Mohair is the lustrous fiber it produces. It is a moderately small goat, slender, elegant, and light-framed. In other parts of the world, it is reared for human consumption. Next, we have Spanish boar. Spanish boar is a breed intended for meat production. It is highly resistant to diseases and can adapt well to hot, dry semi-desert. It has white body and distinctive brown or black heads. It has the tendency to gain weight rapidly and develop heavy muscle. Next, we have Kiko. Kiko is a breed of meat goat originated in New Zealand. It is a crossbred of Anglo-Nubian, Sanan, and Toggenberg breeds. Next, we have Nubian. Nubian is a British breed of domestic goat. It is a crossbreed between native British goats and a mix of large lop-eared goats imported from India, Middle East, and North Africa. It is characterized by large, pendulous ears and a convex profile. Next, we have La Mancha. La Mancha is an American breed of dairy good known for its much reduced external ears. It has a short and glossy coat with numerous color variations and patterns. It is considered a docile breed and is an excellent producer of milk, high in fiber and protein. Next, we have Alpine. Alpine is a medium to large-sized breed of domestic goat. It is known for its very good milking ability. They have no markings, have horns, a straight profile and erect ears. It can range from white or gray to brown to black. Mature does weigh around 61 kg and 76 cm tall at the shoulder. Next, we have Sanin. Sanin is distinct in its white or cream body color. It is easy to manage and performs best in cooler conditions. It is the largest milk producer of goat breeds. Next, we have Nigerian Dwarf. Nigerian Dwarf is taken from its origin, Nigeria. It is small but well proportioned. It may be horned or hornless. Its common colors are gold, chocolate, and black with white markings. Its average weight is 35 kilograms while its maximum height is 60 centimeters. Next, we have Jamnapari. Jamnapari is originated in the Indian subcontinent. This is intended for both milk and meat. Its coat color is white with patches of tan on the neck and head. The mature body weight of male is 65 to 90 kilograms while female is 40 to 60 kilograms. And for the rabbit breed. First, we have Belgian Red. Belgian Red is a fancy breed of domestic rabbit. It is selectively bred that resemble the wild European hare. Its weight averaged 2.7 to 4.1 kilograms. It is known for its slender and wiry frame and its long and powerful legs. Next we have Californian White. Californian White is originally developed for fur and meat. It is recognized for its color variety of white with dark points. Its weight ranges from 3.4 to 4.3 kilograms. It has dense, plush coats. Next, we have Flemish Giant. Flemish Giant is the largest breed of domestic rabbit. It is historically bred for their fur and meat. It is often kept as pets known for being docile and patient when being handled. Next, we have Red, White, New Zealand. Red, White, New Zealand is originated in America but possibly imported from New Zealand. Its weight averaging 4.5 to 5.4 kilograms with the does being slightly larger than bucks. 
It is bred for meat, pelts, show, and laboratory uses. Next, we have Angora. Angora is one of the oldest types of domestic rabbit. It is bred for the long fibers of coat, known as Angora wool, 